Jared Goff is playing elite football. Touchdown, Detroit Lions! Lions fans have been starved for a long time, and you're giving them a big old plate to eat from. When you're out and about in Detroit, what what do the fans say to you? I, I get all kinds of stuff. Hey, Coach, what's going on? Coach, go get him this week. Coach, great job. Coach, go bite some kneecaps. Um, Look, I do appreciate it, but it does make me feel a little uncomfortable. I go to the convenience store and it's like, hey, coach! I'm like, oh no. Um, they, the fans have been unbelievable, and I know they're feeling it like we're feeling it. It was September of 2021, and you were just getting started here. And I asked you to give me one word that would describe your locker room and the identity of that team at that time. Do you have any recollection of what that word might have been? No, it would probably be something like gritty. Boom. Is that the word that you would still use today? Absolutely. Why? Absolutely. We're, we're the same gritty team. We're just more talented. That's, that's what I would say. Because the core of that group, man, you talk about a bunch of dudes that were just going to battle. And we didn't quite have the horses we got now. But those guys, you talk about laying it on the line and uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody and willing to fight to the end. I'll never forget those guys. Yeah. You know? You, yeah. What's making you emotional right now? I just, uh, I appreciate guys that <clears throat> lay it on the line. Maybe you're outnumbered. Maybe you're not the most talented and, uh, maybe, uh, the odds are against you, and nobody believes in you, and uh, and I respect the hell out of those guys that'll fight, you know, and uh, and that's what that's what we're about. That's what we're about, man. That that's how we that's how we roll here. That's why I get emotional. Can you personally relate to that? Yeah, I mean that was me. I didn't have talent. I mean I had enough talent to play in the league. I was fortunate to get a number of years, but ultimately I just wanted to, I wanted to please my coach. I want to please my teammates. Man, I didn't ever want a teammate to look at me and say, man, that guy, he doesn't do anything for us. He doesn't finish plays. He's not accountable. And I took that stuff personal. One of my favorite moments was you at the podium in your first season after you lost to the Vikings and you had tears in your eyes. When you see your players give all that they have and, uh, and you lose that way, it's tough. What kind of message do you think that gives to people? This is me. And I want my players to know this is me. When it starts to brew, I can't, I can't help it. it. It just, that's who I am. And it doesn't happen all the time, but there's things that'll trigger me. And uh, I'm an emotional person. I feel things, you know, I can feel. But ultimately, whatever comes out, man, I, I think that's the thing here. I just, I want to be me.